one massive Canada-wide obstacle course, 20 extraordinary Canadians, 16 mind-blowing challenges. It's season two of Canada's Ultimate Challenge every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Let's recap the latest episode. Back at it once again on the Going Deep podcast. Donovan Bennett, Cabral Richards. We break down Canada's Ultimate Challenge, which you can find on CBC and CBC Gem. And what I have found to be a real easy, fun watch with a little bit of drum. What? Man, we have the first twist of the series, yes. dude. Like, like the team captains are forced to be general managers. Each captain had to select a teammate from someone from another team to join their team and then send one of the beloved competitors to another team. It was, man, it was a nice twist and just hit hard, bro. Well, the timing of the twist was everything because we're now in Ottawa in the nation's capital. Uh, so this is now a new region. And what I found interesting was that all of the captains are women. Oh, yeah. In this Absolutely. region, uh, we, you start fresh with new standings and new captains. And so... Red, uh, Courtney is their captain. Blue, Whitney is their captain. Orange, it's Jack. And green, it's Sandra. So you have some distinct female leadership in this neck of the competition. First event of this challenge, which is the Rideau Locks Relay Race, where every member of the four teams are swimming up the Rideau Canal and then have to climb a ladder, hand off a baton. Like, there was more algae in that water than, like, I've ever seen in my life. Like you can make a salad uh, based on the algae in that water. Adam from Newfoundland, you're from Newfoundland. You're from like the one province that is basically surrounded by water. And this guy was like a seahorse in the Kentucky Derby. He could not swim. Well, I, I want to personally thank Adam because- Why? What do you mean? Well, if you'd let me finish. Uh, <laughs> because there were a couple people who struggled severely in the swimming. Uh, they all happened to share the same hue. They all were black or brown. So the fact that Adam just threw it in there and made it, made, made it a little bit easier for me to watch. This can, brings me to my MVP, uh, which is Sandrick, who said he is not a good swimmer. All righty, we have a neck and neck race here between Team Orange and Team Blue, Harvin and Sandrick. Neither of these players are strong swimmers, but they are giving it their all. I'm going in left and right, feeling like a black Michael Phelps. I think we got this. Yes, Sandrick! Sandrick is now pulling ahead of Harvin. They put him in the second leg because that was the shortest one. Like, he killed his leg. And I, I was proud of him. Like, yeah, there you go for Team Orange, who won. They, they had yeah. the, the strongest uh, uh, swimmer on their team as well. Team Green's interpersonal relationships totally falling apart. Nice moment by Jenny going to console Lekka. It's like, hey, this is only one this is only one competition. It doesn't define the whole series. Listen. Hey, one bad challenge doesn't make a team. You guys tried hard, shit happened, it sucks, but it is not what is going to make or break your team. It was a nice moment of humanity. You don't think? How altruistic was it? We have an alliance. I need you. You were messing with my paper. Fine. I need your team then to it was, get it right. It was both smart and empathetic. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt that she's being empathetic in that moment. I'm a little bit more to the point. Like, ah. Uh, I, I like you, but I don't like you that much. So get it together. I can't have you out here moping after you <laughs> lost. So now we go to the next challenge, which is called the balance of power. You have two retrievers of beanbags. You have a caller and you have someone who's a thrower who's throwing beanbags into the weighted plates of a scale. These giant scales that they, I don't know, they maybe got from a movie set or whatnot, but it was, it was impressive to see. But part of the challenge of being blindfolded is the players are picking up the beanbags of other teams. So the call is like, no, put down the bags in your left hand, put down the bags in your right hand. So there was even more confusion. And there's two teammates out there blindfolded. Yeah. So they, at times, and this was an issue for Team Blue, were not sure who the caller was speaking to. Yeah. Are they speaking to this teammate yeah. or that teammate? Is it my left hand or is it your left hand? Yeah. And also, I'm, I'm surprised nobody ran into each other. But one thing is, if you're Ninko, you can't shoot jump shots and say Kobe. <laughs> Kobe. Kobe, and miss all the shots. If they bring me them, the bags, I'm gonna deliver. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. That's not working. Kobe's up there like, bro, what? Never say my name again like that. You wanted him to say Clay? Shout out to Team Red that wins this event, the balance of power, shifting the balance of power. Team Orange comes in second. What was your biggest takeaway about this particular challenge? The biggest takeaway for me was what happens as soon as the challenge is over. And the fact that uh, Ninko 
is heated yeah. and upset and charged up. You all right, Nico? I just don't want to talk right now. I don't know if you're mad at me or what. The attitude's just not, I'm not feeling it We're right good. now. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we just lost. Who wants to keep talking? I don't know. I'm tired of his attitude. I'm tired of his ego. It's not about King Ninko. I need to put him in check because we need everybody to work together. Ninko, I don't like your attitude, man. You don't like the way I take losing. I was pissed. I wanted to break oh, something. Yeah. I said, good game. You go, don't talk to me. Ain't there you go times. again. No, I didn't I'm pissed say that. off. Can you imagine if I had that there attitude? There you go again. There you go again. OK. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. relax. I'll tell you that. Because exactly. you're going to get it double. Yeah, I know you will. Yeah, you will. Right, take a I'm going to take a breather. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take a breather. It's okay. Just chill. So talk to me. And Sandra immediately wants to talk to him. And you know when, not that this has happened to me in any of my relationships, but you know when you're, you just don't want to talk and someone wants to talk and you just don't <laughs> want to talk. And then they start flipping it like, oh, since you don't want to talk, you're the issue and you're the problem. It's almost as if Sandra knew that her leadership maybe wasn't correct i was trying to get ahead of it I'm like oh you have a bad attitude everyone chin up you know smiles on your face you didn't have that energy when ninko was the captain and you guys were losing <laughs> so they get into it about the fact that ninko is upset and she is trying to take the responsibility the blame off of herself so much so that they had to be separated ninko already has a mom and sandra is like being mom number two and he's he's not here for it so that that relationship is getting further and further fractured especially because and this is a producer fist bump moment when next time Brandon Gonez, our host, is in position, he tells them about the players. Brace yourselves for our player shuffle. Oh, that's a joke. I've fallen in love with the family vibe that my team is. No one wants to get traded to Team Green. They're like, please don't send me to the Oakland A's. Please, like, don't send me to the New York Jets. The players that eventually got traded, all of them were like, please, no, please, no. Don't pick me. Don't pick me. Usually, it's like the last two kids in class, like, pick me, pick me, pick me. This was like, they're averting their eyes. I don't want to make any eye contact whatsoever. And I thought that was very telling. And unfortunately for Dan, which tells me that they believe that Dan is the best competitor in the game. Like, if he's the first one chosen. Well, he, he, he did come second and two challenges, one of which being an individual challenge. So he's 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 had good individual performances. Yeah, and it's with merit, but like that's, it was a, a moment for me, I was like, oh, okay. And Dan unfortunately has to go. Okay. Look, one of my biggest fears about Team Green is the two guys. Ninko the Nightmare, who's just a pit bull, and Darko the Drained, who just gives up. And now I'm in the middle. I don't know how I'm gonna work with this. I decided to steal Dan because he's versatile. He's very smart. He's strong. He's quick. That was a great choice. <laughs> it's just a color. Who cares? If you were colorblind, this wouldn't matter. What? It, it, we'll know the difference because guess what? The chances of you going to the Paris Olympics just went down. <laughs> that is the difference, Dan. Cordy from Team Red. She chooses Sandrick from Team Orange. Jenny, again, even more devastated and crestfallen because she's the captain of Team Orange. Then Whitney from Team Blue, she chooses Adam from Team Red. So Adam goes to his rival at Team Blue. And that's going to be interesting to see how that relationship plays out when he's on the, on the rival. And then finally, Jacqueline from Team Orange chooses Shalisa from Team Green. And she was like, what's that you say? So that was, that was an interesting twist too. So now you have a team with three women, you have Shalisa, you have Jack, you have Jenny, and you have um, Dominic on Team Orange. Jack of Team Orange says, I actually don't care. I, I, we might be at a disadvantage if there are some competitions where it's all about brute strength, but it's all about peace right now. There are some times when having more weight and more strength is beneficial. There are times when having more weight, more strength is actually a detriment. It makes things harder. So I'm interested to see how that plays out. I look forward to future twists on the show because this one was a banger. So you think there's more? What? Why? There could be. As those twists reveal themselves, we'll be here to react to them, break them down with you. We want to know your reaction. Hit us up online. Continue to watch. It's been fun, but it's it's fun to watch when we can have this discussion. We're breaking it down for you. 
right here on Going Deep. Don't miss new episodes of Canada's Ultimate Challenge every Sunday at 8 Eastern. Watch free on CBC Channel.